We are gonna be buying digital outfits and we're never gonna actually get to hold them or touch them or try them on. There is a outfit that is a thousand dollars. Yes, you're an animal. Yes. Okay, you ready? Yeah. <gasps> hello, hello, beautiful people, and welcome to Clever Style. Hi guys. So today's gonna be very, very different for us. We are gonna be shopping, which is normal. We do shopping a lot on this channel, mm -hmm. but we are not gonna be going to any mall and we are actually not even gonna be touching or feeling or holding any clothes. No, nope. this is the future. I know it sounds wild, but let us just explain. So recently, Sophia and Hope Scope did YouTube videos where they went shopping at Dress X. What is Dress X, you ask? It's actually a clothing website where they just sell digital clothing. Whoa. It is literally the scene in Clueless when she's on her computer for her closet and she puts the picture on her picture. They literally just Photoshop the clothes on you. So we are gonna be basically buying digital files of these outfits and we're never gonna actually get to hold them or touch them or try them on. Dude. This is Dress X's mission. They basically, they don't want you to stop shopping. They just want you to shop digitally. It's this new idea because a, then it's better for the environment because the clothes actually don't exist. Facts. B, there's more room in your closet because the clothes don't exist. Double facts. And C, um, size isn't an issue. You don't have to worry about feeling like bloated that day, right. anything like that. They'll just Photoshop and tweak it a little bit. Obviously you can shop all these different designers, but you're paying like a fraction of the price that you would normally pay. We pick out an item on this website, send it in with our photo. And then a couple days later you get an email with the piece that you picked out photoshopped onto your body. Like what? What is happening? But can I be real? This is, yes. <laughs> I'm struggling a little because even as I'm saying it's good for the environment, it's just cause we're buying air. Yeah, we're literally buying an Instagram photo. Yep. Yes. Yes, it is good for the environment <laughs> because there's literally nothing being made other than like a pixel on a computer. Right. I, the part that's hard for me to wrap my mind around is that I'm not actually going to get, get anything. anything. So our plan is to be a little sneaky sneaky. What we're gonna do is upload the photos to our clever Instagram. So if you're watching this now, they are already up on the Instagram. And our plan is to see how many of you guys are aware of what we're doing, if you know that they're fake. Like we're trying to see if you guys can tell yeah. that it's Photoshopped on. Yeah. This is the wildest episode we've ever had. It's getting weird. We are shopping. Shopping. Okay, the dress, the website is cute. Futuristic. It's cool. It's very cool, very um, fluid. They have it just like if you were shopping a regular website. Oh my God, so many designers. There are things that float, which is cool. Yeah. Like there's a lava cat suit and there's lava floating around you. So they like give you a whole experience with your photo basically. I would like to point out that there is a tech couture outfit that is $1,000 and a skirt that is $350. I'm sorry. Instantly, I was like, yeah, no. I do think this is cool because you are paying the designer, like their patented look, I guess. That's what you're paying yeah. for. Yeah, oh, jeez. Nothing in here is just like plain sweater. Like everything is definitely kind of got like an edge to it. Okay, I've already found an outfit I'm intrigued by. Let me see. This is called Whoa. Gary James McQueen Metallic. It's $90. That's cool. The entire outfit looks like the silver, isn't that? Surfer. Silver surfer. Yeah. Ooh, look at this puffer. The floor to ceiling. Are you talking about that one? No, that like, one too. Yeah, happy to see you. <laughs> floor length puffer. Whoa, what's that? Look at that. It's like this this vest jacket. To be same. honest, like I'm surprised at how much is on this website. Oh, this is cute, Drew. I could see you wearing that. Oh, that's cute. Like I wear piece. that in real life. That's cute. This is all giving me Xenon vibes for sure. What is she? New in the galaxy. The way you have to shift your your focus on it, I'm thinking, is like you have to pretend like you're buying art. Like how people buy NFTs. It's like you, you're buying art. Right. I found my two outfits. I saw that. You would. <laughs> this is literally like berries and cream. Berries and cream. I'm in the land of berries and cream. Like this is like, Ooh, like an anime character. That reminds me of Black Panther. Remote driving system activated. Again, with the, all these capital looking clothes. Yeah, the, I mean, I guess, look, if you're gonna sell a fake digital art, you're gonna go big. When we were watching Sophia's video, she made a point to really like pick things out of the box. So I guess there is an element to this where you wanna pick something just like so beyond. Drew, you need to wear this. This oh, is wow. Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland. It's, yeah, it's Karita. giving capital. Chins up, smiles on. Now that we picked out our clothing items, we're going to, let's get ready for our photo shoot. Yeah. We gotta make sure we position our bodies correctly so that the garments lay 
so well online and not in person. So well. <laughs> So there are some rules that we need to follow when we're going into this yeah. photo excursion. On the website, they give you a nice list of do's and don'ts of how to take your photos to make it a lot easier for you. First of all, we wanna make sure we have good lighting, okay? No shadows, just so like we make sure that the garment will look good. We have that good clever lighting. Also, I'm I'm just bundling up um, in my yes. little fit. Make sure you're not wearing anything loose. As you're seeing that we're wearing because we wanna make sure that you're not wearing anything bulky so it doesn't like peek outside the garment. And also they know on the website to not do any long sleeves because some of the outfits chop you here. You wanna make sure your hair is out of the way, maybe put your hair behind your shoulders just so that your outfit can really be the star of the show. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And preferably send in full length portraits, that way they can give you the full range of the outfit and then you can always crop it later if you want. Guys, I'm the director. I'm wearing my director's scarf. We're about to do Drew's posing. I'm thinking, let's do the green dress first. Okay. So whatever movement you wanna give. So y'all, my first look is this green dress that is so whimsical and like otherworldly. Giving, gorge. I'm never gonna be able to find anything like this in a store. Yes, you're an animal. Yes, I love it. Like when I say that the sleeves and the dress are out to here, they're out to here. And because the dress is so big and has so much dimension, I'm happy that they have videos on the website that show you how the dress would move if you had it in real life. So it helps me think about like what poses I should do. Okay, let's go with the spoon okay. first. Okay, so for this first look, it was basically like a silver slinky spoon. Okay, so put your hair back just so it, it's easier to Photoshop. Yeah, yeah, and just give me like golden gold. Yes. I had to make sure my hair was back so that it could fully show the hood properly. First of all, arms looking so freaking toned. I have to do that. Oh my God. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. it's giving. It was that tank top kind, so I did have a little bit more arm freedom. It was very form fitting, which was cool. Yes, ankles. You're a, you're a trophy, you're an Oscar. Give me Emmy. And it was very fitted all the way down. It was like a full maxi dress. She's an EGOT. My silver dress was $65. It feels like a Kardashian Met Gala thing. Maybe it'll be like totally worth the price. So my next look is this chain two piece garment that is giving me Kim Kardashian West. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Cute. Couture, Balmain. I don't know if Balmain would make it, but I feel like it looks like that. Um, I picked it just because it's dope and I would wear it in real life. Yes, yes. This is very like a knight in shining armor. It's like mm. chain link. Oh mm. yeah, with each fork, mm -hmm. yeah. So taking photos, really hard. I think we got it, honestly. I feel good about it. I feel that those were solid. So it's like you're posing. You're like, I think the dress would be here and I think it would fall this way, but you don't really know. So it's definitely weird, but I guess the future? We'll watch the jacket. And my coat is gonna be me paparazzi walking. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Yes. And you guys know I love like a paparazzi walk freeze frame moment. Madeline Byrne, over here. <sighs> like Madeline walking to get coffee type of thing. I watched a thing about Paris Hilton, how to walk skinny leg. It's like this, did you see that? <laughs> Let's hop. So we had to do this coat. It was very, very perfect for winter. It had a full button up, it had the ties. There was some writing on it. So for this coat, the movement in the video was kind of like just arms walking along the side. They're trying to maybe confuse us. Is it real, is it digital, who knows? Where's Linus, is he with you? Yeah, and listen, I mean, I'm paying $30. I wonder if they can Photoshop my dog in there. Linus, you know, taking him on a walk. Can't they do that? If they can actually make it look convincing, which from what we saw before, it looks like they do a really good job. Then I'm excited. The next day. Y'all, the photos are in. I am so excited. We have our befores in front of us and we're about to scroll to see the afters. I'm so excited. Okay, so these came in super fast. Like we literally sent off the photos and the digitals were in like within 24 hours. Boopity boppity boop boppy. I don't know, I'm I'm a Photoshop, like, I mean, we've all been on the Facetune grind yeah, before. Yeah. So I'm curious to see how good I know. they're gonna Photoshop it. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Oh my god. Yikes. <laughs> Wait, this is actually funny because first of all, your face looks really uninterested in So uninterested. There. So to me, knowing that if you were wearing this in real life, you'd be your face would be more like enthralled. But it I looks I was pretty serving legit. and I wasn't. I was not serving. I look asleep. It, uh, it actually looks pretty real. You think it does? Yes. Maybe I'm thrown off by the fact that I, why did I wear sneakers? I shouldn't have worn sneakers with this. I should have put on heels. Dang, that looks real, like around your shoes. shoes. I think the part that I'm thrown off is like the Captain Underpants, big ass panties. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, but that's the, st 
<laughs> Why are they like that? <laughs> That's the style. I always Is see people it? doing stuff like that where they wear like um, un big like shorties under see -through. Those aren't shorties. Those are like grandma depends. Okay, I want to see mine. I need to know. Okay. I don't. I I can't believe how expensive this was. I, that's so. that's the part, and you don't even get to keep it. Oh yes. God! <laughs> Madeline is serving in no. her before. Okay, so mine was this silver like chromatica dress. Uh -huh. Okay, you ready? <laughs> oh, oh wait, that's kind of cool. <gasps> oh my God! Wait, that's kind of everything. What the heck? Wow. Well, that's so weird because it's so um, shiny and like reflective. That's cool. So mine actually had the option for a hood. They obviously took the um, liberty yes. to not apply the hood. A little offended. I would have kind of actually now liked to see it with the hood. The egg. Uh, yeah, with the leg. <laughs> I'm not into this dress, but it. The way they photoshopped on the body, yeah. they did a really good job. Wait, how do they go through your fingers? The only part I can kind of tell looks a little bit like off is around the neckline and the armpits. Yeah, the armpits maybe, but They're, the neckline looks pretty legit. I don't think it's supposed to be tight, is it? Maybe, but it's just just knowing like if that was actually on my body, how it would probably yeah. really look. But you know where we both dropped the ball? What? Our shoes. <laughs> <laughs> the before photos are so cringy. No, we're just dying in our befores. Ew! Are you ready? Yeah. <gasps> what? I hate the it. <laughs> Microsoft <laughs> Pixel. What? I hate it. Okay, this the one, shoes. The shoes. The underneath. shoes. The sh I really dropped the ball with the shoes. First of all, I should have worn shorts also because you can see my leggings and my tennis shoes under this dress. And this dress, I think it because it's so like pixelated, it looks very fake. <laughs> this one's pretty, this one's very pixelated. This feels like dress up Barbie, you know, where you cut out the yeah. outfit and you pin it behind the paper doll. Like, yes. this is wild though. That's exactly what it looks like. It I looks like it was just this. folded on. Okay, so the next one, you know me and my classic, like always need to be on the move. Like I'm getting paparazzi, just yes. constantly manifesting my paparazzi. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I like your walk? Your walk that you do. Okay, get to okay, the code. Okay, you ready? Ah! Oh. oh, okay. No, but this, that is weird. That's, that's impressive because look how it's resting on your calf. Wow, look at that calf muscle too. It's like, li listen, you've been wow. doing squats. Yeah. That's impressive. Is that how you get calf muscles? I don't know how you get calf That's why I don't have calf muscles. Calf raises. <laughs> It does look cartoon. Like when you really look up close, it's the like the lapel it looks yeah. like it's a a cartoon sketch. I think it's also because the exposure on the clothes versus the background is yes. very different. And I think that contrast is what's making it look so cartoony. Yeah, the editors, the job are like, it's not our problem that your <laughs> your background's, background's so trash. Yeah. <laughs> now he's gonna get away with my money. I missed the part where that's my problem. This is impressive because even with your the way your arm's moving, it yeah. looks like it's moving with your body. That's really good on their end. Like they yeah. really are able to manipulate it to fit anybody. Like kudos to them. Wow. <laughs> I need to see this with Linus edited in. I'm gonna have to manifest that oh, for our editor. Put it in. Put it in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have a full shoot day ahead of us. So we're going to post these photos, have you guys trickle in the comments, and then so at the end of the day we can go and read the comments and respond. Yeah, we're curious to see if you guys get it. Uh huh. We're gonna do a tricky, a clever caption. Many hours later. So it has been a couple hours. The photos have been posted, and we're dying to see if you guys have caught on to our little mischievous uh, photo posting. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So we're gonna check your comments out right now. See what the people oh are God. saying. Yeah, these photos are so. We're just like we hate ourselves a little bit. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's what it is. That's what it is. Okay, okay let's, let's see what you guys said. Medieval LARP store. What's a LARP store? Like live action role play. We do look like we're LARPers. It's giving wish vibes. <laughs> it is giving wish vibes. Outer space. Fashion Nova or Jupiter souvenir shop. First of all, my future baby has a souvenir shop. Is your baby's name Amy Jupiter? Yeah. That's wild. So my guess would be digital clothing. Wow. So they they knew that was Not a thing. That digital you guys fashion. Knew that. Damn, a lot of you guys know. Yeah. Apparently they're not living under a rock. The Uggs really <laughs> kind of look together. <laughs> not the Ugg noticing. Oh, yes. <laughs> I don't even know where to start guessing. These looks are totally groovy and they're both crushing it. Those are the digital fashion, definitely digital fashion. Jeez, a lot of you guys know. My dad commented a heart and a fire. That's embarrassing. Steve. Hi, dad. Oh, dad, you're embarrassing me. 
Okay, so we couldn't fool you guys, and that's fair because it didn't fool us either. <laughs> but this was fun. This was an interesting little experiment. It was an experiment, mm -hmm. exactly. Like some of the outfits were a little weird, and I yeah. think it was hard to make them look real. But this is the thing. We both spent over $100 on outfits that aren't tangible. You yeah. don't get to keep these. It's literally just one photo and then it dies. Some of these outfits were too grand. Like yeah. Some of these were so expensive. We we were cheap. No shade, no tea to the digital company. But I think they need to perfect it a little mm. bit because if I'm going to spend $2,000 on some digital clothing, I need to look real. But mm. I did like your green one, your fun pixelated it futuristic. Was a, it was a moment.